everyone, Tutorials for Looms here. So today I'm bringing you a tutorial on this amazing bracelet. And this is the Mandevilla Vine Bracelet. And this was actually not designed by me, but designed by a very, very good friend of mine. And that is Andromeda Loves Loom. And so it's Andromeda.loves.loom. And she has so many amazing, amazing bracelets. And so many amazing color combinations. And so you should definitely go check her out. Amazing, amazing profile. So this bracelet is made on your hook, and it is quite advanced, so this is an advanced hook-only design, I would say. Took me a while to actually grasp onto it, hence three of them. Um, but this first one is um, was the first one I made, and this is the one she sent in the flippogram. I used the same color combination, and I loved how the different collections came in to this one bracelet, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. My next one I tried um, using all medieval bands, so I used avocado, lime green, I think it's lime green, uh, red and pink. And I really liked using the different collections of bands a lot better because I just felt like this was a little too dull. Um, and I didn't feel like it was popped out very much. So then this is actually my original color combination and you can get more information on my Instagram page about that. And I'm also going to be doing the tutorial in this color combination. And um, I used opaque Persian pearl and sweets, and it came out absolutely gorgeous. So this is my vine color combination. And uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be using. So you also need a clip for the end of it and your hook. This can be done on a metal tipped hook or a crochet hook, whichever one you prefer. I'm using this today. So I'm actually going to have this bracelet here since I'm following the exact same color combination since this is kind of hard. This will just give you an idea where every single band is going to be placed. I also have this in order of placement. <clears throat> so first, you're going to take your first color band, and mine's going to be a lime green. And you're going to twist it onto your hook like that. And then you're going to pull one lime green band again through that. And I'm going to be saying my colors of rubber bands so that way I don't, because I don't know what colors you are going to want to use. So, next we're going to take the Persian one, so it's going to be right there, and you're going to slide it on to that first loop right there, so it'll look something like this. You want to hold all of these bands, and you want to flip it, make sure all the bands are on there, and then you want to take this one, you want to pull it through one more time, and place it back on. Alright, so the first band we're going to place is going to be the Mother of Pearl, and then we're going to place the Sweets one. So you're going to take the mother of pearl band and you're going to slide it through that first loop, place it back on, then you're going to take that sweets band, place that on as well. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these bands, take them off our hook and flip it. So if this takes you a while, that's okay, just pause the video. Alright, so now that you have this, what we're going to do is we're going to take... Um, Ah, I keep getting confused, sorry. The Persian band color, so that's going to be the dual layered one. You're going to slide it through, you're going to hold all these bands. You don't want to slide any off, you just want to take, hold that, all those bands, and slide the pearl, mother of pearl on. You can also pick it up if you want, but you want to make sure all the other bands are left on there, so that it will look like this. So all we did was added this band, placed it on. Alright, so now we want to take all these bands again and we're going to flip it. This bracelet is flipped a lot, I must say. Alright, so now we want to take our lime band, lime green opaque, and you want to slide it through all of them except the two ones that we just, the one we just placed on that is holding that pearl right there. So you want to slide it through all of those, place it back on. So now we've created the beginning. Now, this is going to be that was just kind of the beginning. We're going to be um, doing a few other things later, but... So now what we want to do is we want to flip this over so that the Persian is going to be in the front and the opaque is going to be here in the back. So it will look like that. And we want to place the pearl on. So you're going to place that pearl on that first loop there. And then you want to take the sweet band, place it through that first loop as well. So now we want to take all of these bands, and I will actually zoom in a little bit. Alright, so you want to take all of these bands, you want to hold onto them very tightly, and flip this. Make sure you go through all of the bands. Alright, so it will look something like this. Now this is where we're going to kind of switch the step a little bit. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to place the Persian on, right? On like this. You're going to slide that first loop on. And, and, and then we're going to grab that pearl again, so you want to hold those. You can also just pick it up and pull it over, but it's a little bit harder with the camera in front of me, so I will do the sliding the rest of the time. But place it on like that. So that way you're going to have that pearl and that first loop on there if my camera will decide to focus. It might help it. Alright. So now we're going to flip all of these. And it, there's a lot of bands, so it even takes me a little while to get them all. Um, you're going to take your opaque one, and you're going to pull it through all of them except the first two that we, these last two that we put on actually, like that. All right. So now we've just created. We just did one of the steps. So I'm going to make sure my bands aren't twisted, so that way it just gives it a little bit of a nicer look. And I run into that a lot when I use the dual layered bands. Um, they tend to get really twisted. So anyway. We're just going to flip this again because we want the Persian to be in front because that's what we place our pearl and our sweets on. So you're going to take the pearl, slide it through the first loop on your hook so it's going to be that first Persian. And then you're going to grab your sweets and you're going to place one of the sweets on through that first loop. All right, so now we want to flip this. So you kind of, you don't want to pinch real up here at the top, kind of where the sweets is starting is where you really want to pinch. That's the easiest way in my opinion. All right, done that. So now you want to grab the Persian, the green apple Persian, and you're going to pull it through the first loop, okay? And then you're going to hold, make sure these don't get all messed up. Then you're going to hold these two bands on your hook like that, and you want to slide that pearl on. So you should still be left with the three and then the fourth one when you place that back on. Now we're going to twist this. As I say, I say we're going to twist this, um, but we're just going to flip it is what we're doing. And then you want to take the lime green, pull it through all of them except those last two that we just placed on, and place it back on. So as you can see, this is the start of it. And like I said, it is a little challenging. So I cannot get this sweet straightened out, I'm sorry. That's kind of, I have a little OCD when it comes to there. So there we go, it's it's all good now. Uh, so we're gonna flip this. So it will take a little while to grasp because it is a little tricky with all the flipping that you have to do. But hopefully you have, or, sh or should have caught on pretty quickly because it is, especially if you're an advanced bloomer, and I'm gonna get that out of the way now. And then place the sweets. And I'll zoom in just a little bit more. So you want to place the sweets on. And then we're going to flip all of these around. I have, this is my fourth time, actually my fifth time doing this because I actually lost my other one. It was a jelly, I made it in all jellies and it actually looked very good. And that was actually before I got my Persian bands, I uh, placed an order. So um, I've gotten used to flipping these. So you're going to slide it through that first one. Alright, so then you want to hold these two, and my pearl actually got messed up there. You want to slide the pearl onto there as well. Alright, so then you want to flip this again, and then place a lime green through all of them but the last two. So I'm actually going to go ahead and finish the rest of mine off camera. Um, if you're having any troubles, you can just go back to the previous instruction where the Persian will be the first ones on and then you can repeat the steps like that and I will be back to show you how to end it okay so I have finished the full length of my bracelet here and a good way to check is if it keep it on your hook and take it and then take your hook and see if it will fit and this was you can see this one fits around my wrist perfectly so what I've ended is like this and I wanted to make it as similar to this beginning as I could so what I decided to do is what you want to do is the first loop it's going to be that Persian or it will be the lime green, whichever one you want if you haven't flipped it yet. You want to take that off, right, and then you're going to slide the first loop through. So there should be only three left and I find that that just made it more uh, clean cut, um, but 
you want to take all of these on your finger and then you want to grab your clip, clip slid over here, and attach it on like that. So now your bracelet is complete and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and if you love it, please remember to tag me and at Andromeda Loves Loom on Instagram. And um, you can also use my hashtag tutorials for looms and you can also use hashtag Mandevilla Vine bracelet and then I won't miss it at all. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.